Sun's out, surf's up, summer's sizzling again at Hampton Beach. Businesses come and go each season, but this year a fixture on the waterfront has gone dark. DW's Oceanside Inn, an elegant bed and breakfast, has closed after 43 years. We're getting to the age now that we just can't do all this anymore. Deb and Skip Windemiller have run the award-winning Victorian-style inn since 1979. Summer help now nearly impossible to find. I start at 4 o'clock in the morning. We stay up till midnight, 1 o'clock. You know, we take turns. <laughs> He's usually up in the morning and I usually stay up late. All these decades, it's been a labor of love. Skip, a self-described ski bum, bought the inn on a whim. One day I was walking by and the gentleman that owned this building had a for sale sign. I thought, oh, well maybe I could just run this in the summer and then I could ski all winter. When she came home, I says, guess what we bought? <laughs> I hadn't even seen it. <laughs> Neither one had ever run an inn and the Oceanside needed a complete overhaul. No heating, air conditioning or plumbing and only one bathroom for the whole place. It was so old, everything was so old, you know, and outdated. And there's nothing left here that's the same. There's not one thing here that was the same. Bit by bit, season after season, Skip and Deb renovated the old guest house that dates back to the 1800s, ripping out linoleum floors and plywood walls, adding bathrooms to each room, turning two rooms into one, meticulously decorating with lavish touches down to the imported doorknobs. This came from England. From antique furniture to stained glass windows and ornate ceilings, no detail spared. We wanted to make this mirror with the big arch and have it look as if the, the, it was like a window. Each of the 10 guest rooms, some with gorgeous ocean views, has its own character and personality. The two front rooms are always the highest demand. Of course, how can you beat that view? All of the rooms are named after somebody famous with ties to Hampton Beach. Goody Cole, Moses Levitt, Patriot Gove. This room is the Gilman Marston room. Marston drafted New Hampshire's tramp law. And that was to keep all of the tramps and the vagabonds off of the Hampton Beach area. They didn't want them coming here and settling. The Gilman Marston room is adorned with floral wallpaper and curtains. Nothing cookie cutter here, which is one of the reasons the inn became adults only. Some of our drapes, they're made of silk and they're thousands of dollars. And, and you know, you get ch children with chocolate on their hands. The room is a favorite with longtime guests. We have one couple that will stay in no other room but this. They're from Canada, and they're heartbroken this year. Lots of heartbreak from guests when they learned Oceanside was hanging up the no vacancy sign. Many who've been staying here for 10, 20, 30 years. It was nice. We have a whole pile of letters. You know, people wrote really nice things to us. These people here wrote uh, and said how much that we've enjoyed our time at the Inn over the past 20 years. You've been gracious and welcoming hosts from the very first time we visited. We always thought it was the best place to stay at Hampton Beach. What wonderful memories were made <clears throat> for Jim, myself, and Steve over the past 40 years. And that just shows you the type of family, you know, that everyone's become here. We've actually seen three to four generations. And they would move mountains to accommodate their guests. That was our couple from uh, Rhode Island. And they always stayed upstairs. They needed two beds. And uh, when she cried to me that time, when she was leaving and saying that he can't do stairs anymore. So she was uh, afraid they couldn't come anymore? That's right. So I told her I would build this bed in for us. We built this bed in for us. So they would have two beds on the first floor. Isn't that so <laughs> nice? So that so she kept she, coming she back. She did for another three or four years until he passed away. Oh. This hat collection on the wall in the hallway started as an ode to two sisters, repeat guests. She was one of these tall grand dames that wore the big hats, even in the middle of the summer. And, and so when she passed away, her sister said, would you like to, a couple of her hats? This hat was hers and this one up here. Those are the, these, these are the two that started this, this collection. Others have added their own hats over the years, each with its own memory. 
It is the people, the relationships that Skip and Deb will miss most. It's very sad. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, we're happy that we don't have the work to do, but on the other hand, we're sad that we're not gonna see these people that we've gotten become friends with. While 100-hour work weeks are over, Skip and Deb are far from retired. They run real estate and insurance businesses in an office connected to the inn. As for the ocean side, it looks like it's ready to welcome guests, but the inn is up for sale. Perhaps now, after 43 years, Skip and Deb will have some free moments to enjoy the beauty of the beach.